What's up YouTube, OptoInfo back with another weekly video. This one is another one on optics. Let me turn this air conditioning off. Specifically, it's about hyperopia. I'm gonna try to keep it under five minutes this time. Um, so tell me this, what's absolute hyperopia? What about facultative? What about manifest? What about latent? If you have any hesitation answering those questions, stay tuned because I'm gonna lay it out for you nice and simple. A way that it can stick and you can use it on the fly. So this is the way, first before I do my, dry, my diagram, I want you to think about hyperopes as um, a lens that can't relax or a ciliary body or a ciliary muscle, whatever, that can't, the lens can't relax, okay? It's too uptight. Um, so you sit this person down at the four opter, or it's, this is a vignette that maybe you see in, on O-caps, maybe that's more practical. Anyways, uh, or realistic rather. Here's, this is an eyeball, look in that direction. This is just their lens and then their eye. I'm skipping the cornea and the iris and all that. Bear with me, you're okay. So we got some parallel light rays coming in here. They're hyperopic, so of course, it doesn't meet at the retina, it falls behind the retina. And we'll say this is plus one, okay? So you're giving, they're, like I said, they're at the four opter, you're giving them some plus power. They take, you know, they like the plus quarter, they like the plus 50 even more, and then you give them the plus one and boom, they're at the 20-20 line, okay? So that's what I call their walkabout hyperopia, but the official term is absolute. So let's use that. Let's use the formal terms, plus one. That's the least amount of plus that you can give them and they'll read 2020. But like I said, these people are uptight. That lens can relax even more. We just have to help it out. There's a couple ways you can help it out. One is with more plus power. Do some of its work forward and it'll, it'll chill out. It'll relax a little bit. And the other is with medications and we'll get to that in a second. But let's say, you know what? I know about this concept as uh, of um, facilitating more relaxation with additional plus power. So you crank up the, you, you crank the plus power up. Okay. Let's say you go up to all the way, plus three, plus four, they're still reading 2020 plus five. Nope. They don't read They start to deteriorate plus five. Okay. Plus four then. So we crank this up to plus four. And what do you know? This, this lens shrinks a bit. It relaxes. they're able to accept the plus four. Now, if we draw the lens, the ray tracing that correlates with this skinnier lens, it might look like this, okay? This is plus four. Now, of course, if they're plus four and you give them a plus four lens, the, the ray tracing is gonna intersect on the retina, but I'm just drawing the correlate for this lens as it gets skinnier. I'm drawing the intersection further and further out. It's a nice little, Thing to visualize in your mind's eye. It helps me keep, keep things straight at least, okay? So they were plus one. I mean, they, they read 20, they're able to read 2020 with the plus one, but they took up the plus four in the manifest refraction. So this plus four, that's their manifest hyperopia, plus four. That's simple, that's intuitive, I like that. Now the difference here, I shaded the difference of the lens in here, I can do the same with the ray tracing correlate. Okay, that difference from here to here, plus three, that was facilitated by the additional plus power. That's the facultative hyperopia. Facultative, oh, actually I'll write it over here. Facultative plus three. F-A-C for facultative. It's sort of small, but I think you can see it. But there's, now you can give them the plus four. Remember, they didn't take the plus five, but they took the plus four. You can give them the plus four, they'll walk around, they see 2020, they're happy. But there's some latent hyperopia there. And if you give them some drugs, you can tap into it. You give them the, give them a cycloplegic. So you give them tropicamide. And what happens? That ciliary body muscle, muscle, whatever, relaxes. And boom, they're even skinnier. I'll shade this one in as well. And if we draw the, the correlate for that, this might be plus six, okay? All the way out here might be plus six. You see that? Yeah. And so they had two diopters here from plus four to plus six. They had two diopters of latent hyperopia there. They were walking around with the plus four, you know, happy pappy, but they've got two more diopters of latent hyperopia. Now don't give them the plus six unless you're gonna have them on atropine or something because remember you couldn't tap into that without the drugs. But anyhow, 
this is think sort of think about it in the sequential manner. I'm just over five minutes. I'm gonna wrap up here just to summarize. Absolute, or all I, I, what I think about is walkabout hyperopia. That's the least amount of plus you can give them to get them to 2020. Manifest, that's when you milk the manifest refraction and you get and you got all the way plus four. The difference there was facilitated by the additional plus power. That's the facultative hyperopia. And then, you know, these people are gonna have a little bit of latent hyperopia as well. You can't tap into that without the cyclopegic. All right, so I hope that made sense. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.